Hey guys, we are come back to our sound exercise. So for this one, we're going to use the mouse to control like, the volume and pain of the pain back of the sound. So we create again the project folder like with the name called sound control one. And then we also include a media folder with audio because we have one MP3 to put it there. And we tidy up our desktop and to look for the audio file and put it inside the audio folder okay from the audio valve can drag the mp3 directly from the audio folder onto the, the canvas of the project and if you remember if you want to hear the sound we can just go back to chop to select the audio device out that is your sound card and then connect now you have the sound playing back directly so I turn down the volume so if we take a look of the audio device out property in the parameter window so there's two areas that we can control one is the volume so if you push the slider towards the left hand side close to zero so it's decrease the sound volume and for the second one is the pen so pen actually pen the sound to the left when it is closer to the zero and then to the right when it reaches one so anywhere between zero and one will pen the sound in that direction so the next step is instead of using the slider we would like to make use of the mouse so when we press tab in get back the chop we choose the mouse in so the mouse in we have two number x and y which is in the range of minus one to positive one and for the y normally this is normalized according to the expert ratio but if you want to have the full range of minus one to one you can change the property of the output coordinates to normalize and then we can add one more mesh chop to change the range from minus one to one just to zero and one so that means we now have the proper range of value for the volume so we're going to use y for the volume because it's pushing up and down it's more natural and intuitive and for the x and x direction so going left and right right and left is normally we can use it to control the pain of the stereo channels okay so we can just turn on the real active for the mess over here and select the audio device out choose or click tx and then drag it over to the pen and then release so now we have this panning left and right control and for the y we can drag it over to volume and then export the chart now I turn up the volume a little bit so the upper area louder sound lower areas 
lower the volume and then moving left and right to mix the sound panic okay and that will be the final part and if you are happy you can just leave around here if not we can add a little bit more whistle in order to to visualize the effect like we can have top this 2d graphics with rectangle and then change the dimension to the custom resolution of our screen uh, 1280 by 720 and then we can make the rectangle a little bit smaller like 0.05 so this is the size of the rectangle so the next step is we make a transform for the top and such that the value changes in translate would move the rectangle that's the square around so the range of the movement we have tested out in other exercise there will be minus 0.5 in the left margin positive 0.5 on the right margin which is also the same in up and down of the screen so this mass actually will not serve our purpose because the range of the two range is zero and one so we need to have another one in the top with the match and the same mouse in go out here and with the range of minus one to one we convert the range to minus 0.5 to positive 0.5 so that will be the range that we want for the result displays and then we can connect it to the output turn on the viewer active and select the transform tx will go to the translate x ty will go to the translate y So when you move your mouse around that square supposedly will follow you and finally we custom our perform window and then change to full screen and disable the folder sorry the, the borders and we can also have a look of another option called cursor visible so when the mouth moves actually it the cursor become visible so you can always change it to like never so that means your cursor will not be visible the square will represent you as the cursor in this case so when we double click to go into the project one again and turn on the volume go to the perform mode so we have now panic left pan to the right increase the sound decrease the sound volume so this is what we have achieved by using the mouse as a general sound control device